So one of the things you're talking about is, is mercury. How much of a problem is that if it's out of the vaccines uh, and it doesn't sound like dentists use it in fillings anymore, is it still an issue? Uh, yes. Um, the reason that you're confused about that is because you're being lied to. The, the dentist used uh, 50,000 pounds last year, which is enough to kill every man and woman in the country if you turned it into a vapor and had them inhale it. It's just insane, the amount of mercury that this country is stuffing in people's teeth. They took it out of vaccines. Oh, well, ask them what's in the flu vaccine, because there's 25 micrograms in the flu vaccine. And there's um, mercury in Rogam for RH-negative mothers. There's mercury in uh, the uh, uh, tetanus. Um, so they took it out, and they said, oh, see? And then they put it back in. Don't, don't look at what we're doing. That, and they change the label so that they don't have to tell you if it's in there, if it's less than 1%. Well, 1% of mercury is a terrible amount. Uh, you know, it's, it's a huge, hugely toxic substance. People don't get it. Nat's whisker of it can make you sick. One molecule will damage one of your molecules, so it's one to one. It's, it's one of the most toxic non-radioactive substances known to mankind. It has no business in dentistry or medicine, and yet it has seeped into every facet of my profession and the medical profession.